Steve Bowers and Cassandra Fuller. Welcoming you to Six in the City. Fuller, it's good to have you back with us. It's good to be back. I had a, she was away I had last to... week celebrating her birthday. She went to New Orleans. That makes sense to celebrate her birthday. But she went to New Orleans to run a half marathon. I did. It was fun. Everybody has a different way. You know, mine would be birthday cake and a bunch of <laughs> shrimp and, and crawfish and everything else. Down. Well, we did have all I that. I hear that you, that you did, you ran the best time that you've ever had. And so the older you get, the faster you're, you're getting at running marathons. Yeah, it was it was a good day. I'll just say that. <laughs> well, that's pretty, that's pretty impressive, pretty amazing. Anyway, it's good to have you back. We got a full show. Yes, we do. We've got a pack show. Um, Caitlin Roach is going to be here with us um, for a little, just a little bit longer for the Lifeline Blood Services. Okay, so we'll, we'll talk about that. Then we'll, yeah. we'll talk to Caitlin about the change in her life. And then David Craig and Santos Abraham are here from Union University because it's time for the Hub City Innovation Cup. It's coming up February twenty fifth and 26 and it's going to be held at universe union university and then we have reese davis and kenley virus there with ballet arts because they have a presentation coming up in march it's peter pan we're going to find out more about that and then pastor terry huntley and pastor gary martin are here because there's a, an event coming up called march for jesus um, we got a little time it's coming up in june so we're going to hear exactly what that is and how you can get um uh, involved in it. And then we have three actresses from the Trinity's performance of the Big Bad Musical. We have Briley Pusser, Ashton Delk, and we have Addison Neely. They're going to talk to us about the musical that's coming up um, next week, this baby, February 24th through the 26th. Right. And then Miss Judy Rinchell is going to be here with us to talk to, about, uh, to us about the Andrew Jackson running Marathon. running thing. Uh, the Andrew Jackson Marathon. That's exciting. And Domino Falls will be with us. Right. Stay where you are. It's coming up on this Six in the Six City. In the city. Hi, I'm here to ask the people of Jackson to be a part of a groundbreaking program, Four Minute City. Every minute you don't get help after a sudden cardiac arrest, your chance of survival decreases by 10%. That's why friends of heart in the Jackson Fire Department have created a care team. A group of everyday citizens trained, equipped, and ready to save lives in our community. Please call this number or visit our website. Together, we can save lives. Experience something new with View It Video On Demand. Now you can preview and rent movies with your remote. Press the TiVo button to go to the home screen. Select View It On Demand to get started. Browse new movie releases and events. Select what you want to watch, then rent. There's even free stuff. You'll find karaoke songs, fun screensaver for your TV, videos for the kids, and more. Experience more with TiVo and View It Video On Demand. When I first saw a turtle, my heart was full. Not anything but lonely. We have this like deep connection, this heart connection. He just wants to be close to you and part of your life. Every day with turtle is a perfect day. When I'm holding her, it makes me feel calmer. I think everything he does shows how much he loves us. When we adopt a shelter pet, we discover they're a little bit of a lot of things. But they're all pure, pure love. 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 Welcome back to Six in the City. Kaylin Roach is with us. We're just talking off mic about the American Advertising Federation chapter in West Tennessee. And you can go AAFWestTennessee.com, I believe. They got an event coming up tomorrow at Hornby. Yes. And yes, uh, with yes. Seth Dorcha, an outdoor guy. And so we mm have -hmm. yes. been members of the Advertising Federation before. Glad to see that chapter still alive. But yeah, our next meeting up. is in Jackson. Um, I'll have I'll send you the info when okay. I remember it but if it's in jackson well yeah i want people to know about that and everybody's invited to hornbeak tomorrow to that to that session kayla roach is with us lifeline blood services and she's making a transition in her life as well that's right yes yes, yes. so um you're wrapping it well i see steve with your uh, friends <laughs> i have a blue shirt on friends uh, apart yes thanks to cassandra fuller and, and cassandra was jean i think miss jean that gave the shirt yeah miss jean Newsom. Mm -hmm. yep. she did. gave me the shirt so i'm, I'm wearing it proudly because she did it at a run because they just had a 5k <laughs> yeah. that's right so you have to run to wear that shirt well no you run, run in spirit well, I'll he, run was in the, spirit. he was the honorary runner so <laughs> yeah. oh, it, okay <laughs> He, he gets an honorary runner t uh, sweatshirt. So, okay. well, yes. Yeah, so that's coming. I'll be the new executive director there in uh, starting in March. I think the 21st is my first okay, day. Well, so I think, 
thank you. Y'all have one more time with me, except maybe it'll be with a successor because the job is posted. So if anybody okay. out there watching wants to, to hang out with Steve and Cassandra, among other things, um, <laughs> feel free to come apply. Okay. That's right. That's right. All right. So, so that, us- that transition is, is coming up. Kayla Roche with uh, with Lifeline Blood Services and going to the uh, Friends of Heart. So congratulations on the move. And yes, definitely. Great, great thing. We look forward to working with you there as well. Well, tell us what's going on with Lifeline Blood Services. I know we're in challenging situations, it seems. Well, we are. I mean, at the moment, my challenge is to hear you because I'm in the student building at UTM um, by the cafeteria. We're up here doing a blood drive today and tomorrow, and um, I was up here for some some marketing needs, so uh, I scheduled it so I could call in the meantime, but um, yeah, I mean, still... Same old, same old. It'll be somebody else singing this song before long, but then until something changes, that's the song we're singing that we need blood um, terribly. So, um, no, we need people to come by our Jackson or Dyersburg centers or check that online calendar on lifelinebloodserve.org and check that uh, where we're going to be, like like today here, um, and come to us when we're near them because um, we've had some had some rough times. We've had to send some patients away from um, our emergency room in Jackson to Memphis or Nashville because we didn't have enough blood to treat them, and that's not where we want to be. Okay. One thing I know that, and I guess maybe since you're back in Martin, the pandemic really disrupted uh, blood drives at schools and universities. So are they coming back now? Yeah, we are able to get to high schools. Um, we're able more than we, of course, than we were. Um, the thing that's still suffering is, well, we're supposed to get to put three buses out in March. That'll be one thing is to okay. be out three times instead of twice due to our own staffing. Um, and then we've got lots of industries. Some, we've still got three or four that have not let us back since the pandemic. I know we've got some that, you know, with this recent surge have pulled back out again. So, um, you know, that means that more than ever, we need people to make what we can do a success because we're not able to do as much. Caitlin, is there a specific blood type you're in desperate need of, or is it just all blood types? Um, always O types is always the answer to that, but there's no type that we don't, don't need, but O types because um, O positive is the most transfusable type, uh, most often transfused. And then um, O negative is the uh, type that anyone can receive. So those are the two and most in demand. Hey, Lynn, I know that sometimes the criteria for donors changes and it gets modified as we get more medical history on certain diseases and other things. How do people keep up with that or how can they find out? Well, I would always suggest the best thing you can do is just give us a call, uh, 427-4431. Uh, we've got people there who are uh, able to answer. We have this this large book that we live by that anytime there's a change, that change is factored in. Um, some of it's easy to, to remember. And then there's other things that, of course, are get, get very specific. So we have that reference tool. So we encourage people not to self-defer. But, you know, some things I can think of off the top of my head um, that have changed people think that they can't get blood if they've had a tattoo. Well, as long as you had it done in a licensed facility in certain states, Tennessee is one of those states, then as soon as it's healed up, you can donate. You don't have to wait. Um, so that's an example of something that that, that changed over time. Um, of course, with COVID, there's been changes uh, as far as how long to donate after or whatnot. Um, you can donate whether you have been vaccinated for COVID or whether you have not. There's no wait period on that vaccine. And then if you have had it, once you're 14 days out of your major symptoms, you can donate. So, um, you know, those are some of the things. No, you have to be a week out or three days out, I think. See, it's hard to remember. Okay. I think three days out <laughs> yeah. from fever. Well, don't take yourself out of the donation process, right? Oh, yeah. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. 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 Well, Kayla, it's good to see you. Best of, best good of luck to and best to, to Lifeline Blood Service. And we look forward to talking yes, to you about absolutely. Heart. Absolutely. Well, I'll be oh, here. Yeah. We'll see you soon. We'll That's be back with more as we continue this Six in, Six the, in city. the City. The family's visit to the forest inspired a beautiful question. Mother, mother, am I a tree? You tell me to stand tall. You tell me to stay rooted. I think I am a tree. My child, my child, of course you are. But what kind of tree will you be? The kind to hug or the kind to climb? Doesn't matter what you choose, so long as you choose to be a tree that's kind. Make the forest part of your story at a park near you. Find one at discovertheforest.org. Tired of internet that leaves you waiting and monitoring your usage with extra fees? Switch to E-Plus Broadband from the Jackson Energy Authority for fiber optic internet with the fastest speeds to keep everyone connected. 
Enjoy being online as much as you want without worrying about extra fees or data usage limits. Perfect for when you need to download and upload large files, stream videos, or use your favorite video conferencing app. E Plus Broadband, fastest internet, no data caps, no slowdowns, no worries. That's my neighbor, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, John. Joe's about to make a very big mistake. Hey, Joe, you think it might be a good idea to call 811 to have your underground utilities parked before you start digging? John, that's just for big projects. <laughs> Actually, it's for any digging project. <laughs> Congratulations, Joe, you found your electric line. Remember, safe digging always begins with a free call to 811. You want to borrow my phone, buddy? Moving to a different area on Six of the City, welcome back. And we're welcoming uh, David Craig and uh, Santos uh, Abraham with us. Uh, Santos Abraham, we're trying to get that, Santos, trying to get that right. And it's good, good to have you both with us. They are here to talk about the uh, the Innovation Cup, which is held at, at Union University and it's organized by Union University. It's open to colleges across Jackson and, and, and the, the area. And JA has been involved with that since the beginning days as a sponsor of this. But a lot of people are not familiar with this. So how do you describe the uh, Innovation Cup? Well, I think the, the best way to describe the Innovation Cup would be a hackathon concept where, you know, we uh, give the participants or the, the presenters with the case, uh, and then they have 24 hours to come up with solutions. And the case is kind of focused on how do you actually use technology to improve some kind of theme that relates to Jackson. Uh, so we've got 24 hours, and the prize money in total is $5,000. We are very grateful to JEA for sponsoring that. Oh, wow. Now, is this something that any college or university can get involved with, Santosh? Uh, so right now, the colleges, uh, Union University students, uh, Lane College, uh, the University of Memphis at Lambeth campus, those are the three uh, universities that we are working with. And anyone uh, registered in that university, any student can actually take part in this event. Okay. It's going to be held in February? So the date is uh, Friday, February the 25th. It starts at about 1.30. Uh, and ends on fra uh, February the 26th, so 24 hours. So February 25, February 26, starting in the afternoon. Yeah. What happens is these students walk in and they have teams and they're presented this challenge, this problem, and how do you use technology to help address that? And they got 24 hours to go, and it's a pretty interesting thing. David, it's kind of amazing what we've seen in the years with this. Yeah, it's been a it's been a great event, and some of the ideas, especially one for uh, has been in, incorporated into an app for the uh, Jackson bus system. And they got a, after the uh, Innovation Cup occurred, they applied for a grant with AARP and AARP thought it was a great idea and developed it into a scheduling app that uh, riders can download onto their phone and use it to see what the bus routes are. Yeah, where the buses are. You know, before you're just kind of waiting out there despite the weather or sometimes you had to call just to see if the routes were being run or if the schedule had changed, we didn't see a bus. That's been amazing. And it came just as you say, from an idea in this contest, it's gone, yes. it's gone to reality. That's exciting. And I guess we look for more. Yeah, so we would hope that some other uh, innovations would come out uh, from this. It's, it's amazing how bright these students are. And if they, over this short period of time, really between the, the start on Friday evening and one party, how they have fleshed out this idea that they want to present to uh, the panel from uh, the community leaders that uh, maybe there's some from JEA, yeah. some from the CO and some other uh, people who are, are active in this every year. So it, it's a it's a really amazing what these students can uh, come up with within a short period of time. Mm -hmm. Now, are these students from, from all walks of, of uh, the college, like different engineers or, or artists, or, you know, you can be anything, you don't have to be anything specific? That, that's no, correct. They, so uh, you can, yeah, you can come from any, any field. It doesn't have to be a business student, but we've had, uh, you know, students from different, different disciplines come together, and I think they've actually said they've enjoyed working together as a group, but yes, it's open to any student. Oh, wow. $3,000 first prize money doesn't hurt, boy. No, it doesn't. Not, not, when, not, not when you're in you're, college. Not when you're a starving college student. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How many people want a team? None. <laughs> <laughs> it has it has really been interesting to see how it has uh, evolved and how it's become real specific to local needs, which I think has been a development on both sides, sponsors and organizers, and trying to 
to actually come up with things that actually work because we are a technology rich city and, and Jackson Energy has already made multi-million dollar investment to make this city that way. And it's, it's recognized and now utilized. And it's, it's, it's really interesting, as you say, David, and, and Santos, how, how quickly these students assess and, and come up with a way to help deliver through technology something new. And it's quite impressive when you hear them. We'll be carrying, I think, the final presentations here at E Plus TV6. That's great. Oh, wow. So how many teams do we have so far? I have not seen a registration yet. I don't know, Santosh, have you seen that yet? I, I haven't seen the registration, but I know that registration is open, I believe, until at least the 20th of February. Oh, okay. okay. And a lot of teams come together right at the last. You know, some have been in it yes. before and, and, and then they put together different configurations. We're not carrying those live, I've been told, uh, but we will care that we will videotape the, or uh, right, videotape, listen to me, record that, <laughs> and, uh, old hat, the record the presentations and we'll be presenting those later here at E Plus TV 6. They are quite impressive. And these students come in, they have their own graphics and, 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 and everything, video, sometimes audio recordings and everything else ready to go in, as part of their presentation. So it's quite impressive how you can take technology and help meet needs in, in Jackson, Tennessee, right. the Innovation Club. Gentlemen, we appreciate you being yes, with us. Thanks we look so much for being here. Welcome. Yeah, and, thank you uh, very much. And, and if, uh, if anyone in the community is interested, just, just wanted to know that if anyone in the community is interested in listening to the presentations, they can obviously come here to Union University on the 26th at 1.30 p.m. in the Harvey Hall and uh, listen to these final presentations. We are always also looking for other experts who want to take part in okay. these uh, presentations. So thank you. Okay. Awesome. Well, thank so you. they just contact you? That's yes, uh, so they can send me an email. My It's uh, sabraham at uu.edu. Okay, and we'll, okay. And he's gonna, sabraham right. at uu.edu. Thank you both for Thanks being so with much, us. Thanks so much, gentlemen. Welcome. We appreciate we it so forward. very much. We We're going to the main to stage. We welcome Domino Falls. Driving out, just walk the street. They say, say I'm crazy, but I'm not the one who's fat and lazy. Whoa, whoa, oh, 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 No need, no need for wheels. No need, I'm a walking boy. Smog is filling up the planet. It's getting hard to breathe. All the noise really gives me a headache And gas ain't getting cheap And I said, whoa, whoa, oh, oh, oh No need, no need for wheels No need, I'm a walking boy I was jacked to the car dealer street With some of my close friends They tried to get me in a 409 then I started a band, and I said, No, you think it's for the best that I try to car? But everywhere that I need to go isn't very far. No, no need for wheels. No, no need for wheels. No. Natural gas safety is important to our community and Jackson Energy Authority is determining the level of public awareness of natural gas and pipeline safety. Your feedback is essential. Go to jacksenergy.com slash gas safety survey. Select the survey that fits you best. I don't remember how it started. Go to Our back and forth. It always came back. You probably don't remember what you told me. 
That was perfect. But I heard every word. I'm Dr. Keith H. Taylor, owner and CEO of the Mid-South Dental Implant and Oral Surgery Center. Our clinic is unique because it offers oral surgery suites, general dentistry suites, as well as a fully run operating room. E-Plus Broadband has never let me down. The reps that actually gave me their personal phone numbers, that they definitely were compassionate. They knew that some of the technical terms they were using I couldn't understand, and they broke them down to me, and I, I thought this went a long way. Thank you, E-Plus Broadband. Natural gas safety is important to our community and Jackson Energy Authority is determining the level of public awareness of natural gas and pipeline safety. Your feedback is essential. Go to jacksenergy.com slash gas safety survey. Select the survey that fits you best. Welcome back to Six of the City. It's not every day you get to talk to Peter Pan and Wendy. I know, right? <laughs> From Never Never Land. I was reminded when your children are small, they love McDonald's. McDonald's knows what they're doing, right? With Arches and Ronald McDonald. I got so tired of eating at McDonald's that one night I said, why don't we go to Peter Pan and Wendy's? I saw the Wendy's. Uh -huh. And they said, there's a Peter Pan and Wendy's. And I said, well, <laughs> I've been asking for forgiveness of that, for that ever since. You yeah, know? I bet you have. That's <laughs> one that, that but I, is but not. I was, glad, I was glad to go some, to somewhere else to eat for one there night. Was, anyway. There was one that's not forgotten. <laughs> We have Peter Pan and Wendy with us. We we are talking about right. uh, Reese Davis with us and and Kenley Byers are with us. They're part of the cast for Ballet Arts coming up March nineteenth and twentieth at the Carl Perkins Civic Center. Ballet Arts back on stage with the, with Peter Pan, the story of Peter Pan. Good to have you both with us. It is good. Before to have I know you got questions already. No, well, no, we were just going to talk about you know Reese is us uh, um, playing as Peter Pan and right. Kenley is playing as Wendy, and I had asked. Uh, Reese during the break that if Peter Pan actually gets to fly. Get to fly. And she said, and of course, Peter Pan does. All right. So Reese said, yes, absolutely. How's Tell this us. coming along for you guys? Yeah. It's going really well. Of course, it's tons of work, but mm -hmm. it's so fun that sometimes it doesn't even feel like it's work. <laughs> Is that right? Okay. When it's fun, it's not supposed to feel like work. So you must be doing right. something right. <laughs> <laughs> How many are in the cast with you guys? Um, more like 50, I would say. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's a big These deal. are quite impressive productions, you know, for Ballet Arts here. You get tickets at Ballet Arts Jackson, by the way, balletartsjackson.org. Get tickets mm -hmm. yeah. in all this. And so, so Saturday, Saturday um, the 19th, you guys have two presentations, one at 10 o'clock in the morning and one at 7 o'clock. And then on Sunday, the next day, you have matinee at 2 o'clock. Is that right? Yes, yes ma'am. All right. And like C said, you can get tickets from balletartsjackson.org. Also, too, I wanted to ask about Tinkerbell's Tea Party. I noticed there's a, a tea party. So tell us a little bit about that. Yes, Tinkerbell's Tea Party. The tea parties are always the kids' favorite because you get to sit down with your family and have tea and um, you get to eat all the food and you get to meet the cast before um, the show. And we have one this year and it is Sunday at 1230. Okay. And this is these tickets are separate from the regular show tickets, right? And you can get those through balletartsjackson.org, right? Okay. And then there's also an opportunity for kids that are five to twelve to be able to get a chance to dance during intermission at Peter Pan by attending the dance clinic. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. Those tickets are actually a hundred dollars, and you get a complimentary T-shirt and one premium ticket to the show, as well as performing on the Sunday intermission. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. So, and the dance uh, clinic is February the 20th from two to five, is that right? So it's just yeah. a one day clinic that you attend and then you can get this, and uh, you can get the premium ticket and get the opportunity to dance with the actual cast, right? Yeah. Well, how exciting is that? Ooh, there you go. Well, no, I started saying, there you go, Steve. You can finally get your yeah, chance to dance. Get it, but, finally get my chance to dance on stage. There you go. But it's ages five to 12. So, okay. yeah. I might I sneak in the back. Maybe. You could. But you Reese could. and Kinley are with us, and they play Peter Pan and Wendy. What got you uh, What got you both involved in dance? Um, I was three years old when I was put in dance, so I've always just kind of been a part of it. Um, it wasn't until I was older until I actually decided to stay with it. And okay. so far, that's it's just been who I am, I guess. Yeah, I actually considered 
starting, but there wasn't a place where I lived. There was a dance studio around. So I made a big move and I asked my mom, like, please let me dance. And I knew that I was going to be starting late, but I caught up and I really, really loved it ever since. Okay. So you've been doing it how long, Reese? I've been dancing for 11 years. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Kenley's already told us she started when she was three. I hate to ask how long she's been doing it. So you have to give away. <laughs> this is my 15th year. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well, it's good to have you with us. They are the stars of this ballet arts. It's back on stage March 19th and 20th at the Carl Perkins Civic Center. Two performances Saturday, one Sunday afternoon. A lot of the, of the other activities going on. We're so glad that ballet arts is thriving and continuing to move in this That's city. right. And, and That's right. That Looking forward to it, ladies. Balletartsjackson.org. And you can be a contributor. You can buy tickets. Just follow what they do. Outstanding work done every year, twice a year for the Ballet Arts. Good to have you both on with us. It is. Good to have you. Like I said, not every day you get to talk to Peter Pan and Wendy, and we have, and it's a pleasure. That's right. It's been We're a going great to the day. main stage, so welcome back. Domino Falls. With E Plus Broadband and Watch TV Everywhere, you can now take your TV on the go. Just visit WatchTVEverywhere.com to sign up. Then you're all set to catch your favorite shows, movies, and sports wherever and whenever you want on any internet connected device. Choose from our growing selection of networks from your cable package at no extra charge. Visit WatchTVEverywhere.com to learn more. It's easy to sign up for E Plus Broadband's TV Everywhere. Want to receive account information via text? When you enroll in JA Alerts, you can. Text to get a bill bounce, due date, set a payment extension, receive an outage notification, reply to report an electric outage. Text JOIN, J-O-I-N, text JOIN to 53248, 53248. Cell phone number must be current and attached to your JA account. Visit jacksenergy.com slash text alert for more information. Here at the Emergency Operations Center, we rely on E-Plus Broadband Fiber Network to better serve Madison County. 
With high-speed internet, we track storms and natural disasters in real time. Also, fiber internet gives us the speed to host training classes preparing responders from all over the county and state. The phone system allows us flexibility to stay in contact and make conference calls with both in and out of the office with local, state, and federal agencies. Connectivity is an important part of emergency management. Welcome back to Six in the City. Gary Martin is with us. He is pastor of the Jackson's First Assembly Church in the city. He's here to talk about the March for Jesus. Gary, good to see you. Good to see you, Steve. Always, always good, good to have this opportunity to talk with you. March for Jesus is coming up June 4th. What is this? This is a day for the church to come out from behind the walls of our buildings and celebrate Jesus in a parade atmosphere. Uh, it's been uh, going on since the early 90s in the United States. Uh, we did them in Memphis when I was pastoring there uh, for about five years. We went from about 6,000 people to almost 50,000. Uh, in the events. Wow. It's just a day of celebration, kids carrying balloons and people carrying banners, loving Jesus and allowing our city to see the love of Christ through the church. So what this is, is the a route national event. Here, Gary? I, I'm sorry? Sorry, I'm we were sorry. talking at the same time. And so this is a national event, right? Not just a local event. Correct. This will be going on this year in 160 cities in the U.S. plus other nations around the world. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Is there a route set up already, Gary, that you have planned? There right is. Now? There is. We're going to start on airways down close to where the uh, mattress warehouse is, 405 airways. Okay. And we're going to continue east on airways to Lafayette and go up to the AMP. Okay. Uh, so we'll have vans hooked up with sound systems all the way down. People will be singing uh, songs that we're going to be going on in every city. We'll be singing the same songs. Uh, they'll be praying, and uh, we'll have proclamations during that time. Then when we get to the AMP, we'll have different pastors leading in prayer for our city, for our government, uh, for revival in our city. And uh, then we're going to be having massive worship time. Uh, that will conclude our actually our second phase of the events. Uh, the third phase of the event will be starting at 2 p.m. at the AMP, going until 8 p.m. We're going to have gospel music from different churches, different organizations, different individuals. And uh, we're hoping to have a couple of nationally known artists that'll come in and join us on that day as well. Well, Pastor Gary, how can people get involved? Man, easy. All you gotta do is either pick up the phone or get on your computer, send us an email. Our email address is marchforjesus at um, yahoo.com. Okay. Make it simple. Uh, we do have another one on that brochure, but it's marchforjesus at yahoo.com. And uh, the, or they can call me at 901 849 7644. We're trying to get as many churches signed up as we can, uh, and we're looking for tons of volunteers. Okay, and you're you selling t shirts to try to help fund yeah. this as well, right? Yeah, we're going to have some t shirts available hopefully in the near future, uh, that will help sponsor the event, help pay for the event itself. And the t shirts will be how much? T shirts are going to be $20. Okay. Uh, they have the, the uh, March for Jesus logo on the front. And then on the back, Jesus loves you from uh, John chapter four, verse 10. And uh, we're excited about those. We've got a, a hefty budget to raise. Uh, someone asked me the other day, they said, why do you need a budget like this? It's, it's, it doesn't cost anything to walk down the street and sing a song. And I <laughs> said, well, you know, if you're doing it by yourself, that's, that's correct. But having thousands of people coming together, blocking the streets, protecting the individuals, and then the sound systems that's got to go along with it, the printing, the publishing, all of the marketing materials that we've got to do, uh, it, it, it adds up. So can There's people a Facebook just make a direct set donation? Up, right? March for Jesus on Facebook. March for Jesus, Jackson TN on Facebook, right? Yes, March for Jesus, Jackson TN on Facebook. And so to answer your question, yes, uh, people can make corporate donations or individual donations. It is tax deductible. So if you're looking for a tax contribution, we can provide that for them as well. All right. So they can Gary, just what does this accomplish? You feel like you watch this work in Memphis. What do you think this does? Well, what we've seen in the past is we have seen people that have been um, comfortable inside the church understand that there are more people than what they realize when you get a collective body of people together doing the same thing, and that's worshiping Jesus. It brings the races together. It brings denominations together. Matter of fact, on our event, 
uh, we are discouraging churches from using their names. Uh, if they want to wear their own shirt, uh, T-shirts from their church, they're welcome to, but we're asking them not to use names on their shirts, on the banners. We're asking them not to use their church names on the banners. We want to represent Jesus Christ as one. And uh, it's not a political event. It's not a protest in any manner. We just want our city to see Jesus Christ through the lives of the body of Christ inside the churches that we'd hardly ever get to see. Uh, we've seen pastoral associations come together. We've seen churches come together in communities and start a fellowshipping together and networking together to do things and accomplish things in their city. So this could be the beginning, not an end. Then. I'm, I'm praying that it's the beginning. Uh, right. Actually, in May, we're going to start with uh, a prayer walking ministry. We're hoping to get as many churches as possible connected together and do prayer walks in their community, in their neighborhood, okay. and also around their schools every Saturday during the month of May. We used to have the anti-crime marches in certain neighbors, neighborhoods yeah. that, were, that were targeted. I mean, they were targeted because they're having a, a problem. You know, They brought together a lot of people. Right. Gary, good luck with this. Yes, thanks Thank so you. much. Gary. Appreciate you sharing this uh, with us. The uh, March for Jesus, it, it will come up June the 4th. It'll be here before you know it. It's March right. for Jesus, Jackson TN on Facebook, and you can call Gary at 849-7644. Gary, thanks a lot. 901. 901. 901. Right. Oh, yes, right. 901 on that. An import from Memphis. That's right. Yes. yes. Okay. We're good to have you, good to have you Jackson. Tennessee. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Thanks so much, Gary. We'll be back with more as we continue. Six in the, in city. the city. I'm Dr. Keith H. Taylor, owner and CEO of the Mid South Dental Implant and Oral Surgery Center, where we specialize in dental implants and full mouth rehab for patients that have congenital defects, special needs community, and as well as the elderly. This room is an actual functioning surgical suite that gives us the capability of performing procedures normally performed at the hospital. All the technology available in this room was made possible by E Plus Broadband. Thank you, E Plus Broadband. It stands out in the landscape. It's the newest and largest water tank in the JEA system. Located northeast of McKellar Sipes Airport, it holds two and a half million gallons of water. Construction costs just shy of four million dollars, but it will supply water and the water pressure necessary to sustain fire hydrants in an expanding industrial and commercial area of Jackson. Meeting needs and building for the future, all a part of JEA Today. Do you love sports? Then you should know about STEM. Because maximizing nutrition, analyzing peak muscle performance, calculating the perfect shot, and more are all made possible by science, technology, engineering, and math. In fact, there are more careers than ever in sports science. So if you have a passion for sports, then think about getting involved in STEM and improve everyone's game on and off the field. Get inspired at SheCanSTEM.com. We got a big bad musical coming up. Yes, we do. And we got and the folks here to tell us about who we got, Cassandra. We're going to be talking with Riley Pusser, Ashton Delk, and Addison Neely because they are all in the performance of Trinity's The Big Bad Musical. It's coming up February 24th, 25th, and 26th. It's at the NED. They can get tickets for $15. Thursday, Friday, Saturday performances at seven o'clock, and then Saturday, a matinee at two o'clock. Ladies, well, since it's Trinity happen. Christian, I take it that when we say bad, we mean good. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, what's this all about, ladies? So basically, it's a courtroom comedy as if the big bad wolf was on trial. And uh -huh. basically, the audience determines his verdict. So it's, it's oh, a is that right? So we got a trial. Oh, it's interactive. Here. Okay. okay. Yeah. Audience participation. We so this is musical, like in the sense of a play musical. Okay. <laughs> now I'm learning as I go. So the big bad wolf is on trial. Yes. yes. Well, how did he go about getting arrested? Um, well, <laughs> it incorporates a lot of different fairy tale yes. stories. So, oh, okay. you know, little pigs, um, the boy who cried wolf, uh, okay. Red yeah. Riding Hood. Little yes. Red Riding Hood. All yeah. stories like where you see the wolf is incorporated into this play. Yes. Right. Okay. So, so that's right. Because oh, the wolf tries to get the pigs. He tries to get the lady and everything else. Right. Mm -hmm. that's right. The wolf is the wolf. So he gets to star in all of them. Mm -hmm. yes. all crimes committed by the wolf yes. Yes. and the audience decides whether the wolf is guilty or not yes mm -hmm. sir hmm. 
That's interesting. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be an objective source. Of course, I would say he's not guilty. Hungry, he's in love. What's wrong? You're wrong. <laughs> You, you, you would make something up. You would be that one audience member. They'd be like, somebody, <laughs> yeah. can't so the woman's out. in love and he's hungry. I mean, what's wrong with that? Everybody gets hungry and hopefully falls in love. Somebody <laughs> take, take him out the door. So Who is it, in this? How many people does it take to put this on? We have a cast around 25 to 30 people. So. Oh, wow. So is this the first time you guys have done something, a musical like this, where you have audience interaction? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, okay. So it's February the 24th <laughs> through the 26th. You're doing this where? At the Ned McWhorter Cultural Arts Center. Okay, so we're going to the Ned with this. What what will be the times of the performances? So we have a show Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 7, and then a matinee on Saturday at 2. Okay, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 7, and a matinee at 2. And that's February the 24th, 25th, and 26th at the Ned. You get tickets through the Ned or through Trinity? Uh, if you'll go through the TCA Lions website and go to the Fine Arts page, you can find the ticket. Okay, so TC, TCA Lions dot org. TCA Lions dot com. All right, and so you just go to the uh, the theater. How much are the tickets? Fifteen dollars. All right. Well, tell us what roles y'all are playing here. Who's what? Or do you play multiple roles? I'm the evil stepmother. I'm the wolf's attorney. So uh -huh. Cinderella. <laughs> so the evil stepmother gets to be the wolf's attorney. Yes, because she's a villain. Because Sandra, see problems for the wolf already. You know, he's I know. I know. I'm already. telling you. He's got a bad woman defending him, and he's a Trinity Christian. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> the, the deck is stacked already against the poor guy. That's right. So, Briley, who's your character? Uh, I am the fairy godmother, and she is on the good side, uh -huh. defending all the pigs and the little red riding hood and the boy who cried wolf, all of them. Yes. We're oh. In, technically. We're in, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then what about you? What's your character? I am Sydney Grimm after the Grimm fairy tale brothers. There's all their stories. And I'm the news reporter for the entire case. So I act like I'm on TV and I'm trying to get interviews from all the people trying to figure out this case. Oh, you're the one going up into everybody's face saying, so now tell me about it. So you're right? following reports during this trial. Is that what you're doing? Yes, basically. Okay. Oh, wow. It sounds like hmm. it's going to be an interesting, interesting performance. Okay, who's trying to, who's designated to bribe the jury? <laughs> they're not going to tell I'm you. To help the, gonna... I'm trying to help the wolf out here. I feel like we're going to need to be bribing this jury. They're not, they're not going to give away the. Has he got free the, trinkets or treats or passes suit? to ball games or something? You know what I mean? <laughs> so uh, we got, is it three different trials or just one big conglomerative thing? It's one trial over okay. all. Okay. He's so he's being held accountable for everything he's ever done in his life. Yeah. Now don't you go, don't go feeling sorry for the wolf now. I'm feeling sorry for him already. He's you know done some mean? heinous crimes. He has. And he's surprised you know. with how innocent we yeah. can make him look. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've got a wicked stepmother as an attorney. I'm a Trinity Christian. I, I can see bias already. You know what I mean? <laughs> a little bit. Little pigs, little. innocent little pigs. That's innocent right. little ladies. <laughs> yes. I don't know. It's coming up. It's the Big Bad Musical, February 24th, 25th, 26th. It's, it's Trinity Christian produced, but it's at the Ned. Yes, yes. that's a Thursday. That's Thursday. Ladies, it's a real Friday pleasure Friday. to have you with us. Yes, yes. it has Glad been. Here. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, ladies, good luck. I'm suspicious Thank of the you. chances for the wolf. All right, it's good to see you both. I'll see all three of you. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. All right. We're going to the main stage. We welcome, once again, Domino Falls. Try to strum me a tune 
Tell him by the look on your face is a great big world of things we can do. we live is it just the same as the love we give rosy did i'm mark taylor i'm the owner of renew biomedical services based out of here in jackson tennessee we're a provider of uh, biomedical services for medical professionals at renew biomedical our use of telecom is of utmost importance we have to reach our customers in a timely fashion so we can diagnose and service their equipment needs. So e Broadband allows Renew Biomedical to connect effectively with our customers in whichever way they choose, via email, phone, Skype, teleconferencing, in any way you can imagine. Know the source. Heating and air conditioning costs are 55% of the average home utility bill. Next, 21% of the bill, heating hot water. 12% major appliances from the kitchen to the laundry. 8% of your cost is lighting and 4% your electronics from computers to television. When you move your lifestyle to lower your utility bill, know the ratios and make the changes that save you the most at JEA Today. Say it and see it with voice control. Find your favorites faster across live, recorded and streaming TV. Movies, shows, news, sports, music are just a voice command away. Show me action movies. Just for kids. Every result personalized based on viewing habits and time of day. Say it, watch it, it's that easy with the power of voice control. Welcome back to Six in the City. We're joined by Judy Renshaw. Judy has been with us on several occasions so far this year or in the last few months working with the Bicentennial. Here today yeah. to talk about the Andrew Jackson Marathon, which is, was started in this year, I think, with the Sesquicentennial. With the it was. Yes, it sure was. That's it, correct. Part, yes, part that was a way that they celebrated for the Sesquicentennial. And now this is our 50th year. We have mm -hmm. a, a great opportunity this year to be able to celebrate not only 50 years, but also our 200 bicentennial. So yeah. we're kind of uh, double celebrating uh, this what year. What kept that going, Judy? Because it was designed to be kind of a special event, sesquicentennial celebration. It obviously worked and people kept coming and it's, it's a Boston Marathon qualifier. It's become a huge yes. event. Yes, it is. Uh, Cassandra can tell you what the numbers were for the runners. I work with the volunteers. Cassandra run works with the runners, but uh, uh, we get really runners from all over the United States that come. And uh, this year, Cassandra is working with uh, 50 states. A lot of people are trying to run in all 50 states. And so we're going 50 states, uh, our 50th anniversary, and, uh, and just tying, yeah. And they're tying 50 a lot runs. of those 50s, yeah. 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 So, and I, I guess, you know, just because it, it did get started with a sesquicentennial, and I believe mm -hmm. it was the, the road running group 
Right. Yep. Jackson Road Runners. Mm -hmm. They got it together and just kept it going. I think it was just an interest in the community. Well, there has not been a marathon run consistently this long in Tennessee, right? I mean, no, this is Tennessee's got a this Tennessee's oldest marathon. Marathon. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty because these are right. not easily done. Right. Yes. Like a lot of effort oh. to become a Boston Marathon qualifier is pretty much. Yes. Well, this was coming up April the second. Well, Fuller, yes. you take this. I mean, you're the runner. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> well what we're focusing on today we're focusing on runners and cassandra can tell you all about that i'm focused on the volunteers as right. you know with an event like this it takes lots of volunteers and we want it to be a seamless event so that every runner that comes and participates in the andrew jackson marathon says wow that was one of the best run marathons I've ever participated in. And then they tell other people wherever they go, you need to go run the Andrew Jackson Marathon. So what do you need, so, Judy? What, what kind of people are we looking for? We, we need people for uh, road guards. We need people for water stations. We need people to hand out medals. We need people to help with the start line. We have people who register uh, the runners and the volunteers when they wow. get there in the mornings. Uh, we have stations where they can get water and uh, refuel once they get through the race. We have people that are, are at those stations. So we have people all over trying to make sure that whatever they need, they can get. How do we I volunteer? A, we have a medical tent so that, okay. you know, if anybody has any issues, okay. any runner, we have a medical tent right there. And one year, we actually had a gentleman that uh, was running the half marathon and I had thought about running the marathon, but decided not to. And when he crossed the finish line, he collapsed. And that was right in front of the medical tent. And if he had been on the course, he would have passed away. Wow. But because we had a team right there, he came back later on and thanked us, you know, for all yeah. that. that had but Judy, how do I go about volunteering? What, how, what's the process for me to volunteer? The process, you just go to Google Andrew Jackson Marathon 2022. Uh, or you can and, go to uh, uh, runajm.com, our website. Yes. Run or you can Google Andrew Jackson Marathon 20, 2022, too, and it'll bring it right up. Right um, and just go to click on the volunteer page, and everything okay. you need to know about volunteering is on is that there? page. Uh, all the different areas for, to volunteer, how many people it we takes. It's got a description of what you would be doing. So anything you need to know about volunteering is on that page. Okay. And the road guards, uh, the road guards and the water stations are the areas where we have the most yes. volunteer need because our, our water stations, we have a water station at every mile along the mm -hmm. route. Wow. Uh, I, well, I think we would last year, the, the last two years, we kind of had to adjust that a and little bit. And it's 13 so miles. We, and then if you run the marathon, you're doing it twice. Yes. 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 Okay. So we have, a, you know, a water station at every mile and then our road guards are at every every turn and we have yeah. mm -hmm. and we have a lot of turns so it's it's yes. crucial that we get the right road guards in place it takes right. a lot and hey this is a great way for students to get uh, those points uh, and yeah get, yeah graduation. get uh, volunteer service hours those and they can okay. work uh, water stations in different okay. areas so it's April the second. That volunteer. sounds far away, but we need you to get volunteered now. Right. It's, Absolutely. It's, yes, they can go ahead and sign up right now. That's Judy, right. so good to see you. It is good, good to have you always. Thanks, what great Thanks always for letting me come and, on. And, uh, what, yes, what special year is underway in our bicentennial year? That's yes. Right. We're going to be right back with more as we continue. Six in the Six city. Six in the city. Hey, have you heard about Four Minute City? Do you know what it is? Our city has over 100 sudden cardiac arrests every year. That's why the 4-Minute City program was created. By placing easy-to-use defibrillators in homes and businesses throughout Jackson, we can save lives. This is not some hypothetical. This is real. But it's up to us. Want to do something good? Come on, Jackson. Get involved. You just might save my life. And I might save yours. For the most reliable drinking water supply at the highest quality, reach for the tap. Our tap water is safe and continues to exceed all government requirements. For more information about our drinking water, visit www.jacksenergy.com slash J-E-A-C-C-R. Move over. It's the law. When approaching work vehicles or crews, move over to create a safety zone. It protects utility workers, law enforcement, firefighters, and emergency personnel. It's not an option. Slow down. It could save a life. Stay safe. Move over. I give. I give. Yo dono sangre. And I give too. 
If you're eligible, so should you. Donating blood is safe, easy, and in less than an hour, you can save up to three lives. If you've donated with us before, thank you. We can't wait to see you again. If you've never done it, now's your time. Give blood with Lifeline Blood Services today. As always, want to thank our guests for being with us. What a diversity of events are happening in the city. It's always exciting to be a part of what's going on in Jackson. It's so good to see all these events getting back uh, yeah, up and going back, in, yes. in person. So yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm excited about it. Lots of, lots of things to do in Jackson, Tennessee. Yeah. Well, once again, congr congratulations to Cassandra. She was away last week running a half marathon in New Orleans in celebration of her birthday. And she ran her best time ever. So she's getting older and running faster. That's right. That's Hopefully good, that'll stick. <laughs> no, that is <laughs> not it. <laughs> Her, her time, she ran a mile in four minutes all the way through the 13 mile? No, she did not do that. No, that's, no. That's why, I've, that's why I've been told this little ear right here now. Well, the, that little that little bird in your ear. Is, little bird. Okay, yeah. Is, is, we got is, some things coming up, just a note, programming note. Our final Union University regular season basketball game is coming up this Saturday, live here at E Plus TV 6. They'll be going into tournament play, and then CAA takes care of all that. We do want you to know that we'll have the Division II state basketball championships, girls and boys, March 5th. Then the girls division one championships March 12th and the boys March uh, TWSWA championships March the 19th, the 5th, 12th and 19th right here at E plus TV six live That's out right. of, uh, let's see, out of Cookville for division two and out of Murfreesboro for division one. And we'll have elections May 3rd, August 4th and November 8th this year. The qualifying deadline is noon Thursday, uh -oh. the county, county candidates in the May primary. So we'll, we'll know who's running this week. That's right. And if you don't get E plus, if you don't get E plus TV six on your cable channel, you can always go to E plus TV six.com, stream it live, see what's going on, and check the channel on up. Well, so, so good to have you back with us. It's good to be it back. Was, it was lonely here without you, and I want you to know. It's I really want beautiful. you to know I did watch. We were traveling home, and I did watch. Oh, okay. I wasn't driving. I was, she was taking notes. She was making corrections. Okay. And next, one, I'm going to talk to him about this and this nope. and this. Nope, y'all did a fabulous job without me. So good, good job to you. Good to have guys. everyone with us. Well, good Lord willing, we'll see you next week. And we're going out right. with Domino Fall. Domino Fall. tinted glass but we can't see you you hide behind your tinted glass but we can't see you you can't see me you can't see me I can't see you, yeah. 